hey what's up welcome back to another vlog we're still moving things still look crazy i'm not going to show you too much but it's still very much a disaster area here i'm vlogging on my good camera because i have packed the charger for the camera that i use to vlog that I normally or have been using lately to vlog, I packed the charger and it's already at the other location. So, yeah, somehow managed not to leave the charger to this camera or I managed to leave it here. And I was like, well, it's either your phone or your good camera. And somehow I, land, I landed on this. So that's what's happening. Mm, very much scatterbrained today literally darting back and forth while working trying to take breaks to arrange stuff for this move honey <sighs> i'm so stressed out i'm legit in need of a vacation and a massage and all of the things because i'm i'm stressed no actually i'm stressed with a k that's a whole nother level of stress it's not normal stress, it's scress. So much so that I can't even pronounce it right. And that's where we are. Fingers are crossed. Am I recording? I am, because child, if I wasn't. I'm already one inconvenience away from a full-blown meltdown. This might have pushed me over at the edge. <laughs> There's going to be a meltdown between now and moving day. I guarantee it. It's just, it's inevitable, like Thanos. I have at least three meltdowns when it comes time to move, and I haven't had one yet. Yet. I need to watch other people's vlogs about moving because I just feel like no one else is stressed, and I, that ain't, that's not realistic for me. I need the realistic vlogs where people are like, mm, that's what I need. Oh, I washed my hair, obviously. Now I need my nails done. Ooh, child. Okay, so here's a first world problem rant. Things have not been right with me and my nails since my nail tech left me to move back to Detroit. Nothing's been right with my nails since. I haven't found anybody. I've been in these nail streets ever since she left me i was faithful to her and she left me and i've been out here in these streets people treat me bad people have these janky hours they have these ridiculous stipulations where they want to drop a blood a hair sample one of your eggs and and rights to your firstborn like they want all these crazy things and i'm just like you and i didn't have these problems we had something so good how could you throw it all away but all of that to say I was going to this place in Midtown if you live in Atlanta I was going to this place in Midtown but they had limited parking and then if you weren't able to find parking in the parking deck then you had to basically circle the block until either a spot opened up or pay to park somewhere else it was just it was just annoying I want to say somebody asked me about my nails, they're S and S. That's when you dip them. You have to soak them off every time. So basically, every time I go, I get a full set. So I soak them. They take all of this off, and then they dip them in the little powder. Which I don't know. That's not my ministry, but supposedly it's healthier than having acrylic. It just takes forever because, again, you have to soak them when you first go off. And then it's literally a whole new set on top of it. So, I don't know. Okay, I don't know how long I've been rambling. Six minutes. Fantastic. Okay. I'm going to stop rambling. I don't know when this vlog is going to go up, to be quite honest. Because I, it's already Wednesday. And I don't have anything going on this week other than, you guessed it, moving. So... Hold on, I'm checking something. 
So yeah, I just feel like it's going to be boring, but the vlog will be boring because ain't nothing going on but moving. So I'll just go ahead and stop talking for now and I'll see you when I see you. managed to make it out of Target doing minimal damage. I think I spent $30. I ended up getting some things that I would have ended up putting on my Instacart list and was just basically like, since I'm here, go ahead and get it. There was something else I came on here to say though. Random question. There were two things, but I can only think of one. Question number one, how do y'all move? Do you wait to pack, every, like, do you gradually pack things up and just, what am I trying to ask you? Do you make sure that you have access to your future spot ahead of time and do many trips? Or do you, or have your circumstances always been you don't have access to the place until moving day and then that way it's everything, it's all or nothing. I've obviously done both. When I moved across state lines, I would do those, um, Really, I hope you feel good about yourself. I hope you feel real proud of what you just did right now. Um, when I've moved across state lines, I've done those. I've done those little pods that you load up and then they ship it for you. I've done those and then obviously I've done the, I have early access and I just make little trips. I don't know which one is more stressful. I don't know if there are levels to it. What was that? Yes, please. Y'all, not me pretending to be on the phone so I don't have to have the awkward conversation with people standing outside of establishments. <laughs> Why am I like that? I just didn't feel like doing the no thank you. Like, I didn't feel like doing any of that. So instead, I just accepted a fake phone call and proceeded to have a full-blown conversation. Yep, sure did. The lengths that I go through sometimes to be social, antisocial are outstanding. Damn near disturbing. Just a little simple pepperoni situation, nothing spectacular. Okay, I don't know where, okay, there we go. I've been a bad, bad girl. Y'all already know what this, what this is if you're a beauty lover. Ulta is having their 21 days of beauty sale. I fell victim. Honestly, there's not much that I want from them, but I did want to try their Peter Thomas Roth Max Complexion Correction Pads. Although, as I've said before, my skin is doing pretty good. I do have, mm, it's practically gone, but I have a pimple here that's trying to pop up. And then I saw some other girl on YouTube talking about these 
petty scrub sponges look like that and yeah she said she likes them so i wanted to give them a try and well this was the only thing that was being featured during the ulta sale the other thing was just five dollars i think so i went ahead and succumbed to temptation there are a couple other things that ulta has during their sale that i'm gonna want um that lancome idol i think it's called it's the whatever scent that zendaya is promoting i smelled a sample of it and i liked the sample but i need to smell the actual scent and i probably should have did that while i was in there but i didn't i got my nails done i just left the salon well i just left ulta but before that i just left the salon oops I was gonna go to this place that gives really good pedicures, but I called them and I got the woo woo woo. So yeah, we ended up going somewhere else near the crib. Oh, I'm gonna miss this light, I knew it. But it's funny, cause I told her I wanted SNS, which I got. And usually the way SNS works is, well, I, I say usually, I don't know. Child, my phone, I had a timer set to see if I could do everything I needed to do in 12 minutes. My timer went off and cut me off. Anyway, the way I believe SNS works is they continue to put the powder on your nails, on the tips, until your real nails grow to the length of the tips, and then they put the powder on your real nails. And that's what I told the girl that I wanted. I was like, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm ready for my real nails to shine through, so let's just do the tips and then maybe after that like a couple of weeks after I get my you know then I ooh, then I can come back and then my real nails will be ready guess there was a breakdown in communication because these are my actual nails <laughs> they're so short they're so short and which is why I wanted to give them a couple of more weeks to grow but it's fine they cute the only thing I don't like about SNS is it seems like it doesn't give much room for designs which I'm not a big design person because y'all know I'd be cheap when it comes to my nails this was these were 48 which I still feel like is excessive because again full sets used to be $25 so the fact that I'm paying double now blows my mind everything's going up but the salaries make it make sense okay it's seven o'clock i'm headed home i'm starving i had to we got food at the house myself because i actually do have food at the house i made chicken alfredo last night so but i already had that for lunch i had it for dinner last night lunch today and now it's going to be dinner tonight child <laughs> Wah. but it's whatever i just spent 50 dollars on my nails so yeah i need to we got food at the house myself i'm also going to do some light packing and i say light just whatever i can muster to do i'm gonna try to get two or three boxes packed and we'll see how that goes but yeah um i guess i'll go ahead and wrap it up thank y'all for watching i don't know when i'll be back because y'all know next weekend is the move so I may be having meltdowns and too busy to vlog <laughs> and I'm not gonna vlog any meltdowns that I have because that's not what we do here <sighs> but yeah so I say all of that to say give me you know this will be it and then next weekend probably nothing and then the weekend after that when, when April starts we'll be back here's hoping all right well again thank y'all for watching I'm gonna focus on the road. And until my next video, I'll see you later. Bye.